As I am, I've somehow changed shirts. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the read-through of this. Um, so, yeah, uh, that last episode that you guys saw, Magic Duel, yeah, that was way back when I watched, uh, that, that, that was filmed way back, uh, day or so after I watched uh, Pony's Anthology 3 last week. Um, sorry. But, um, but yeah, uh, so we have, what do we have? We got 11 episodes to cover. We have the movie, and then the six newest episodes of the show. So, 18 episodes, 18 of 18 more episodes of this uh, to do. So, without further ado, let's get started. 18 episodes in two weeks. Well, technically, 18 episodes in 13 days. Let's do this. Up first, Corey Powell's Sleepless in Ponyville. So, alright, well, here we go. After Rainbow Dash compliments Scootaloo on a scooter trick, Scootaloo de desperately wants to become Rainbow Dash's protege. She joins fellow Kima Crusaders Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle, their big sisters, uh, of course, their big sisters being Applejack and Rarity, for those of you who are new, and Rainbow Dash on a camping trip just to get closer to, their to, to her role model. Uh, on the trip, Rainbow Dash tells the group of ponies the scary story just before bedtime. They get this wrong, by the way. The book says that it's the tale of the headless horse haunting that very forest in search of a rusty old horseshoe. They mix up stories, basically. Let me ask you something, Hasbro. Or, I'm sorry. Let me ask you something... Let me ask you something, Snyder, Little, Brown, whatever. Is this the Headless Horse? It's the freaking Olden Pony. It's the Olden Pony. Come on. How could you get that wrong? How could you get that wrong? Anyway. Um... While Appaloo and Sweetwell turn to Applejack and Rarity for comfort, Scootaloo pretends that she isn't afraid in order to impress Rainbow Dash, but spends the night terrified. Someone can get the audio of Julie An- Julie- uh, what was her name? Julie Andrews? Yeah, Julie Andrews. If someone can get the audio of Julie Andrews singing that whole I Am Not Afraid song on the Muppet, on the Muppet Show, and then put it to- Scootaloo's visuals, I mean, that would be perfect. That would, that would totally set the mood. You know, it's like, random, like, both of them are saying that they're not afraid, and, hey, now, you're gonna have, um, Scootaloo do that whole, <laughs> there's some, some, but, there was a whistle, there was a whistle to that, I don't know. Uh, the next day, Scootaloo struggles to stay awake during their hike. When the ponies finally settle down for the evening, Rainbow Dash is back by the campfire, continuing the headless horse tale of Scootaloo's dismay, or at least starting it. And by the way, during the, the, her falling asleep on the trail, she goes ahead to, you know, find uh, the campsite first, in a sense. And then she falls asleep. She goes through, like, and then she almost dies multiple times. Alligators spinning around the log, a bear. I mean, she faces death multiple times. And then freaking a cliff to her doom and big gigantic jump until she lands in a bush. Like, really? I don't even know. Anyway. Uh, thoroughly afraid, she tries as hard as she can to postpone bedtime, but eventually every pony falls asleep. Of course, we also had na 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 you know that copyright song that I can't see the words to, but you know how it actually goes. 
but it, instead of how it actually is, it's 99 buckets of oats on the wall. So, yeah. Now, oats are actually known as beer. Well, if you wanted to make that, how about you just call it barley, or hops, or whatever. Make the joke. Come on. Anyway, when Scootaloo falls asleep as well, she enters a horrible nightmare in which she is desperately trying to escape from the headless horse. Basically, the same, the same thing happened last night with the olden pony. Yeah. Of course, this clip... This this episode um, spawning the the one part of Ponies Anthology three, where it basically is Scootaloo just being like white people will be like Billy where are you Billy is that you and black people will be like man forget Billy Billy's dead <laughs> that vine basically was you know, that basically. <laughs> Uh, the figure closes in on her, and then and is then revealed to be Princess Luna. Now, we saw Luna earlier, but sort of like as a slender thing, just like, did I really see that? You know, it's just like, like, did I see that? Oh, whatever, you know, move on. <laughs> it's like a slender thing. For the Doctor Who fans, it's like a silence thing, you know? Um... It, it, it was just like, oh, oh, Slender, or Nightmare Moon, or, you know, Slender, the silence, so we see them, and then we forget that they're there later. Um, but, yeah, turns out Luna can, uh, turns out Luna can, uh, you know, she's apparently the princess of the night, thusly it is her duty to go into dreams. So apparently, Princess Luna is Freddy Krueger, but apparently a very awesome Freddy Krueger. Um, in her dream, Princess Luna, in her dream, as in Scootaloo's dream, Princess Luna delivers a message to Scootaloo. She must face her real fear, not the headless horse, but the fear that Rainbow Dash will dislike her if she knows Scootaloo was scared. Scootaloo wakes up, convinced she hears the headless horse outside the campsite, which it's actually Rainbow Dash is snoring, even though she hates when people when other ponies snore, apparently. Stereotypical Dash. I don't know if that's stereotypical or I don't know. I don't know. Um uh, and heads into the forest to track it down. No, she she thinks that it's in the cave, and she runs away to get away from it. Galloping around in the dark, she falls in into a river. Galloping? No, on her scooter. And by the way, her scooter gone. Lands in the wa lands in the river and is gone forever. Until, you know, flight to the finish somehow. But yeah, and then she falls in the river and she tries to get out. Even if she had good wings, their wings would probably be wet, so she can't find anything to grab onto, she gets to the edge of a waterfall, and falls off. But then suddenly, uh, Rainbow Dash comes to her rescue in the nick of time. Yeah, like two or three seconds after she's already fallen off the edge. And then you see her just, vroom, fly by. Um... And then Dash is like, what the hey is wrong with you? So remembering L L Princess Luna's advice, Scootaloo confesses her true fear to Rainbow Dash and says she only ever wanted Rainbow Dash to take her under her wing. Now, remembering Princess Luna's advice? No, Luna in the moon, not Nightmare Moon version, but an actual Luna version, in the moon says, remember what I said in your dream, Scootaloo? Here it is. Face it. Here's that fear of yours, face it. Um, Rainbow Dash is touched by her honesty and literally takes the filly under her wing, granting Scootaloo's big wish. In fact, Dash goes as far to say, you know, I was scared by those stories when I was your age, blah, blah, blah. If you tell any pony else, I'll deny it, you know. 
things like that. And then the next day, they hit up Rainbow Falls, which is something that we're going to have to see uh, next month somehow, because there that is episode number 10. And, um, yeah, basically, and basically, yeah, they have a gigantic, the sisters basically have a, a giant race, you know, Apple Loom and Applejack, they rush up there for the, uh, for the Earth Ponies, and then Sweet Belle and Rarity join in there, they run for the Unicorns, but then Dash and Scootaloo start flying. Well, almost. Sco D Dash is the actual one that's flying. Scootaloo, well, Dash has her hoof out like this, or let's say like this, and Scootaloo is smack on there, and she's just, like, hosed out, flapping her wings like the little dragonfly pony thing that she is, and it's just adorable. It is just adorable to see that. And, uh, and now, friendship le Ah, what? Friendship lesson time! That's right. Um, and this week's friendship lesson is, or at least this episode's friendship lesson, is every pony has fears, Scootaloo, because this was given to Scootaloo. This was actually told to Scootaloo by Princess Luna in the dream. Every pony must face them in their own way, but they must be faced or the nightmares will continue. And then as she's sucked out of the dream and the Scootaloo starts to wake up, FACE YOUR FEARS! Um, yeah. <laughs> or is that... Yeah, I'm not gonna go into that. I don't know what it was. There was a YouTube poop that said that basically switched around the words "fear your face." Just like really. Anyway, that is it. That is it for this episode. What did I personally think about it? This was basically Scooby's first ever episode. It was. Something along the lines... It was basically that. It was Scootaloo's very, very first personal episode. And I think Corey Powell uh, hit the nail right on the head. Now, years later, I think Ed Valentine would hammer it down a little bit more with Flight to the Finish, or maybe, I don't... I forget if he actually wrote that one. I might have to go back on that later, but... Yeah... I think I think Corey did a great job about doing, um, you know, this with her character. It was it was something that had I guess had to be done maybe, um, and honestly it was a very heart heartfelt story. Um, even though it, it did start off as a comedical one, but it was very heartfelt by the end. Um, to give it a rating, I'd say nine point four. 9.4, and, you know, it was a very good episode, and I think that it definitely captured what happened, what, you know, school goes through on a daily basis, I guess, you know, yeah, trying to get Rainbow Dash to be, you know, her big sister, you know. And it's it's a very heart, uh, very heart-touching story, and I personally love it. I love it. Great job, Corey, and great job, Skulu. Or, and Madeline Peters, too, because, you know, voice actress, so. Anyway, up next is Wonderbolt Academy, which is the, which is one of the best episodes of season three, I, to myself, I think. Um, I personally did my reaction to this episode, so if you guys want to check that out, it is still up here, I believe. Um, hopefully if it's not blocked by copyright, but yeah, still up here on my channel. Anyway, guys, uh, I will see you guys later for that uh, Mary Meriwether Williams episode. Till then, I'll see you guys later.